How's it going everybody? It is Unknown Coder and welcome back to another episode of Survival Minecraft Time Lapse. Today this is kind of one of our mini episodes so to speak because we don't put as much time into this episode but we do get quite a bit done. So in this episode we kind of pre-recorded this one and the next one so this is episode 4 as well as episode 5 are pre-recorded. They were recorded in the same weekend it was just split up. So I ended up putting the same amount of time that I normally put into one episode into two episodes this time around. I almost done editing up or recording the time lapse bit of the um the this episode. So it's looking really good so far. I'm trying to get more consistent. I know if I don't know if you guys have noticed it or not, but I know sometimes I forget to like turn on the um night vision and stuff like that. I'm also trying to keep my I don't know my my pans and stuff like that consistent and um, kind of changing up again a bit as well so that doesn't might not make any sense but what I mean is like I don't want the same exact pan every time but I do want the smoothest and stuff like that the pans to be pretty nice and the same so I am working on kind of changing up and have more variety in my pans but still make them look nice and unjank so in this episode we actually end up starting a new little project that we end up finishing so we needed a farm a little bit like a farm or a barn so what we do is we end up creating a barn in the beginning i think that what we do is we go down to the mine and we go get um what's it called granite i decided to use granite for this barn because it's kind of brown but also has a little bit of a, a reddish hue there's not really any um items in this game where we we really want to use that right now in this stage of the game because of the fact that they're everything else is kind of expensive that's red i mean bricks is a pain to gather and like concrete we don't really have any red dye or anything like that so what we do is just end up building it out of uh granite we use granite polished granite and regular granite to add some texture variety into the barn and stuff like that the other thing that we do is we also go get the animals we also go on an adventure and stuff like that so we go on an adventure to find animals as well as we go and find a village we just use the minecraft application to find the village no big deal you know so we go and find um, cows sheep pigs and chickens and we set up a little storage system inside of the thing our sheep farm is not doing so well I'm not gonna lie so we might need to expand that or something but I think the barn turns out really cool I think I really like it um, also I want to uh, speak about streaming as well so the last couple nights so this is Sunday the 28th, and this should be coming out on Friday. I'm not sure what the day is. It'll be around May time. But um, on Saturday and Sunday this week, I streamed. I think I'm going to be streaming on YouTube. I've had a couple of test streams. I've also streamed to get the quality okay. The first stream I did was a little bit laggy for some reason. The other stream, the audio was awful because I guess I turned the game the wrong way on my microphone because I was trying to make it so I didn't pick up any um, keyboard sounds. But I'm gonna keep working on streams. Hopefully, they keep getting better and better. But I try to stream about two, maybe three hours at a time. So and I, and it's also really good just to stream because I mean, all I'm doing is playing pretty much anyway. And you guys can just stop by, talk, chat, whatever. So as we grow, hopefully more and more people come to streams. People find the stream stuff like that. So hopefully the streams will get better. And the final thing that I kind of want to talk about for ending off this talky bit of the episode is um, 1.14 just came out. And if you guys don't know, we were playing on 1.12 still, unfortunately. Um, the replay mod, which is what we use to do the time lapses and stuff, uses a certain library or something that the Forge has in it. And Forge has not been updated for 1.13, let alone 1.14. So pretty much what I'm saying is that we might be stuck in 1.12 and not even get to 1.13 for a while. I mean, I heard that they were working on 1.13 for the entire time, and they still didn't get it out, and they still haven't had it out. So I'm not really sure what we're going to do. I would love to update to 1.13 or even 1.14 because 1.14 has a lot of cool features and stuff like that. You can make iron farms like super easy. You just need a village breeder and then um, like literally just a bunch of villagers and you don't need to do anything fancy whatsoever. So I'd love to update to 1.14. But the thing is, I really want to do the time lapses the way I have. I don't want to do any uh, first person time lapses just because that doesn't really seem within the style that I'm trying to get. And I don't really have time, like I said, to do a straight up, um, like a straight up let's play of Minecraft or anything like that. So I'm really hoping that here in the near future, um, here in the near future, Forge can hopefully come out and um, replay mod come out for at least 1.13. From the sounds of it, from like what the guy who's developing um forge sounds like it sounds like he might end up getting 1.14 out before 1.13 or even before 1.13 so if that's the case as soon as forge from 1.14 comes out what we need to do is we need to go over to if we haven't yet go over to the quad witch hut 
make sure those are loaded before the terrain uh, thing changes, the terrain uh, generation changes and breaks that. But that's pretty much what we'll need to do. So I'll keep you guys posted on that. Next episode is not going to have any talking because next episode will be during finals week. I definitely won't have any time to do that. This episode is airing during our dead week, so I'll most likely be studying whenever this video comes out. Anyway, guys, I think that's it for this video. We pretty much made a barn. We got some animals in there, and um, that's pretty much all we did. The episode after this, we end up working on a nice little silo. And there's actually one more thing that I wanted to touch on before going. And then that's... Um, now that whenever we're getting kind of set up here, now whenever I AFK, I'm not even gonna put, add the AFK in, and who knows, I might even just uh, do the videos like this. This might be the normal video now, instead of doing 12 hours per week. I might try to do like six hours per week, and then whenever we AFK, I don't think I'm gonna show AFK fishing anymore or anything like that, because this week I'm probably, this week and next week anyway, I'm probably gonna AFK fish for 20 plus hours, just to see if I can get mending, that way we can get going on the next projects. So I just want to let you guys know that odds are right after this video is posted, right after this video is done editing and everything, I'm probably going to be AFK fishing for probably hours on end, just trying to get that mending book. And you guys will see in the next episode what we build to hold all the stuff we're fishing for. But anyway, I think now finally I've hit on everything that I want to hit on. I want to thank you guys all for watching. I want to thank you guys for finding my channel and leaving a like, comment, and subscribe if you're new for more content. I'm trying to push these videos out every single week even if we have to make a little bit of a smaller one like this and who knows this might become the new norm this might what might be what we start doing just trying to do six hours per video because i don't think it's as fast and isn't as frantic as if whenever we did like 12 hours per video but anyway guys thank you guys for watching again this has been unknown coder thank you guys for watching please subscribe if you're new and peace out everybody